hello my viewers welcome again to my youtube channel and thank you for tuning in thank you for watching i truly appreciate you i truly truly appreciate you i don't take it for granted that you have subscribed and that you're listening to me i really i truly appreciate you my viewer and may god bless you okay even as you watch for you that is new to my channel my name is Pauline. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, I request you to subscribe. I request you to like this video, to share this video, share this information. It may just help somebody else. My videos and this channel is all about giving you guidelines for us who are in Gulf countries on how to survive, on how to overcome challenges that we face while we are in Gulf countries. So that is all what my, 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 my channel is about. So if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe, kindly share, kindly like this video and, and press the notification button so that every time I, I upload a video, you'll be the first one to be notified so that you can watch. Okay? So Asante sana, Karibuni sana, and today is yet another day that I want to give you more guidelines more tips more information on how to overcome the challenges on how to finish our contract for us who are on contract so today the title of my video is why are there too many deaths in saudi arabia every day we are hearing somebody is dead in saudi arabia a domestic worker why 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 and why saudi arabia that is the title of my topic today let us talk let us discuss let us comment in the comment section let us share so that we can help our sisters they can finish their contracts and they come home safe they go back home safe those of us who are from uganda from rwanda from tanzania from from kenya we need to finish our contracts on time and we need to go back home safe and healthy. So, Ninini, what is this that is making domestic workers in Saudi Arabia especially? Bodies are going back home dead. Why? What is the problem? Let us discuss. Give me your, your, your ideas in the comment section, okay? But one of the things, after my doing my own investigation, because I've done my own investigations, I realized that 10%, 10% of the women coming back um, from Saudi Arabia, we are talking about Saudi Arabia here, dead. 10% eh? only is because of external causes, maybe being sick of cancer, being sick of hypertension, just being sick, general sickness. The one that people just become sick. For example, if somebody was a Kemboi. Yeah? Kemboi are the runaways. They run away out there. You see, when somebody is a, is a, is a Kemboi, they don't have proper documentation. So being admitted in hospital becomes very hard because then you can be caught. You can be known that you're illegally there. So what happens is that some people just suffer. They don't get proper medical attention. So when somebody gets something, something like cancer or hypertension or all those chronic diseases, what happens? They end up suffering because they can't get proper medication. That is 10%. And you hear somebody has died. So that is 10%. But 90% of most of the girls who go back home in coffins, what are the causes? Me, after doing my own research invest in investigation, I concluded that most girls, when we are in those houses of our sponsors, in those houses, their husbands, their people's, uh, their husbands, of course, somebody, your madam has a husband, okay? Your madam in that family, there is a boy, there is maybe a son, there is maybe a brother. Most, most of those men, they nyemelea or they admire our African girls. You know, our African girls are well endowed. We have good shape. We are different, very different from, 
from 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 the from the their wives or from their women as you are very different our bodies are well made i know you agree with me i know you agree with me god created us well and so we are beautiful as african girls and most of those men when they see us in those houses they want to try and bring us into their trap they want to sleep with our girls they admire our girls they want to sleep with them so if you as a girl you're not strong and by the way if there's somebody who is watching me and you have still not traveled you're planning to travel to gulf countries to work you have not traveled and you know that you cannot bear 2 years without sex don't even dare just stay back home and hustle from home if you're in Kenya if you're in Uganda if you're in Rwanda you're in Tanzania don't even dare because who will you sleep with who will you have sex with so if you know you haven't traveled and you cannot bear for 2 years just stay back home now what happens is that most of our girls most of us girls who are in these houses when the man that brother that husband that son tries to put a trap or to bring us close and they want to have sex with the girls please don't accept when most of these girls they accept to sleep with these men my sister let me tell you in saudi arabia sleeping with somebody out of marriage is a very very big sin it is a very very big mistake in fact most of these um warabos most of these um uh, these people these arabs i hear if their girls sleep outside you know have sex outside marriage their own daughters they are supposed to be killed because it's a sin according to their muslim islam um and and their culture according, according to their religion and their culture those girls are supposed to be killed what about you what about you who is sleeping with the, with that husband or with that brother or with that son what about you they will just kill you and these women are very very jealous i hear their wives are very jealous they will just kill you so if you know that you're in that home and you're doing that and you're watching me stop today tell god to give you control to be able to handle to be able to not have sex for i mean appetite for sex tell god to kill that appetite for sex because a thief has 40 days you will be caught my sister you will be caught and you will die so If you know you're doing those things please stop today tell that man or that boy or that brother in that house tell them no more and if you see that those people will not accept just tell your madam you want to go back to the office you want to go back to the office today and call your agency and say there is trouble there is sexual sexual harassment or something like that and say you want to go back to the office but that is one of the biggest reasons why people go back home dead people don't want to say they refuse to say because you see when somebody is dead they will not wake up to say what is the reason why you died you see but that is the biggest reason but people do not want to talk about it but that is it because these madams they don't care they can even put poison in your food and you just somebody just dies mysteriously you see and this madam should be so bad to you the moment they catch you or they suspect my sister you be in a lot of trouble so if you know that you cannot handle uh, not having sex uh, for two years and you're there in 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 gulf countries just say you want to go back home if you save some money buy for yourself ticket go home you can tell your madam something somebody is sick or you need to go home for something and she she gives you an exit so that you can go back home That is my advice to you my sister who is watching me. Um having sex out of marriage 
in Saudi Arabia is a very very big crime. It's a big crime. And if they kill their own children and they kill their own because of having sex outside marriage, what about you who is not their own? They will kill you mercilessly. So that is one of the biggest reasons why people go back home dead. People do not want to talk about it, but we will speak about it because it is the truth. So let us value ourselves, uh, my girls, um, my sisters. Let us respect our bodies. Let, let us respect our values. Let us respect ourselves. Let us finish our contract and do what took us there. Well, the reason we are we are, we, are, we, are, we are in Dubai, we are in Qatar, we are in Saudi Arabia. We are in Yemen, wherever we are, is because we came to work. We have children back home, and these children, they need us. We need to go back home healthy to be able to take care of our children, to be able to be with our families. So we are only here for a very short time to work. So let us not engage, engage with tabias and habits that are, that are, that are ungodly. Let us respect ourselves, respect our bodies, respect even God. Because when you're doing those things, that is not respect to God. Even God will not be happy with you. And as you pray for God to protect you, how will God protect you when you're engaging in these immoral things? How will God protect you, my sister? So, I know you have heard me. I appreciate you for watching me. I know today I've been hard. But it's worth it. I must tell you the truth. Because I am here to tell you what most people will not tell you. So I appreciate that you have watched me. Share this video. This information may just help somebody else. God bless you. And see you in my next video.